question that I often get is how do I find time to create a course on an already busy schedule? You are in the right place, my friend, because I am going to share one strategy that I have incorporated that helped me to be able to get my course created while juggling all the things. We live in such a busy world. And as if that's not already enough, we live in a microwave mentality society where we want something and we want it like this. I mean, how many times have you logged onto a website and had to wait five seconds and then you were over it? But here's the reality. Creating a course is going to take a commitment and it's going to take time. But the good news is I can help you figure out how to find that time. When I set out to create my first course, I knew that it was going to be a lot to balance. At the time, I was working a full-time job, working a part-time job, writing my third, I think, book, um, as well as going through my doctoral program full-time and had two young children to myself, and that was a lot. So I was committed, but I just didn't know where to begin. So I went back to the basics. I went back and I looked at my schedule. So for 48 hours, I tracked my schedule Totally. I mean, from the moment I woke up, every time I ate, every time I went to the bathroom, every single thing in my schedule. And I did it for 48 hours. Then I went back through my schedule and I looked at my schedule and I highlighted the things that did not directly align with something I had to do or my goals. So for example, you got to go to work, you got to eat, you got to go to the bathroom, you got to sleep, you got to drive to and from work, you got to, you know, do certain things with your children, maybe extracurriculars or whatever it may be. Those things need to stay. But then to be honest, and if you're honest with yourself as well, there are choices that we're making every day that don't directly align with the goals that we have for ourselves. So these choices include, but are not limited to, scrolling social media, talking on the phone for extended periods of time, watching Netflix, Netflix and chilling, everything else that doesn't directly align with our big goals. And so for you, it is your job to identify what those things are and to bring them to your awareness. After you've become aware of these things, it's super, super important that you determine that you're going to get rid of them. Now, here's where most people mess up. They're like, all right, I'm going to get rid of these bad habits and that's fine. But what you got to do is because we are creatures of habit, you got to take those bad habits and you got to replace them with healthy habits. So I'll give you guys an example. Let's say that every single night, this was my like downfall, but every single night, let's say that you stay up and you watch three episodes of The Office and you're like, that is my time to just chill, just unwind and relax. And I love this show. Well, if you know that The Office isn't pushing you any closer to your course creation goals, then you say, okay, I'm going to remove The Office from my schedule because that just isn't getting me any closer to where I need to be. But more importantly, I'm going to use that same time that I commit to watching The Office and commit that to creating my course. If for you, it's that you go to happy hour every single day after work from 4.30 to 5.30, maybe it's you stop going to happy hour for a short time in order to commit that same time to your goal. Here's the reality. When we're trying to do something new in our life that we didn't originally have room for, that we haven't done in the past, it's going to require not only discipline, but it's going to require sacrifice. And here's the good news. You sacrifice temporarily for a long-term benefit. So I'm back to watching The Office and I love The Office, but whenever I'm in the middle of creating a course, helping a client through a launch, or maybe even doing my own launch, I have to sacrifice temporarily. And I always remember that the long-term, in the long-term, it will be well worth it. So what I'm going to ask of you today in order to start making room for your course creation goals is to identify what in your schedule is working and what's not. And then more importantly, remove and replace the things that are not working with healthy habits that are going to push you closer to your goals. Making this choice has been life-changing, not just for my course creation process, but just for me starting to incorporate more healthy habits. And so you're going to totally love this opportunity to start really redefining what your day looks like, to start redefining what you're investing your time in, and to start creating a future that you love and look forward to. So I challenge you to join me on this journey. If you are jump-started and ready to go and get your course created, sign up 
for my freebie below where I'm offering you an opportunity to take your big idea, break it down and determine a course that you can create based on your passions and desires and your level of genius that you want to share with the world. So check it out below. I would love to see you on the inside. In the meantime, make sure you hit like and subscribe um, and I will chat with you guys later.